Welcome back friends and today I'd like to go over this Tai Chi form called Shoot Tiger. So we'll start off from just finishing the double lotus kick. And there you have it friends. Right after the kick, the kick, think of when you're doing this shoot tiger, you're ex expanding out and your hands where the eyes of your fist right here the center where the opening part of the fist called the eye think of the eyes they're lined up so I'll face this way and remember this is right after the double lotus kick and then I'll face this way You can see that I'm kind of leaning a little bit in like a, a forward stance and the right leg is in front and I'm shooting not towards my knee but off to the side. And again the, the eyes of the fist lined up so here's a demonstration here after the double lotus kick this is what I was talking about on how you want your hand alignment like so And try, try not to focus too much on pointing down or pointing up, but you want a comfortable position, but you don't want too low where you're going to be staring at the ground, or obviously you don't want to be staring up at the sky either. So it's like this. And again, you can see the alignment of the hands. So again, again from the double lotus kick. And there you have it, friends. Pretty simple move called shoot tiger. So after the double lotus kick, and the breathing is after the after the double lotus kick. Well, excuse me. While you're doing the double lotus kick, you're exhaling and then you inhale because generally when you're opening up the hands you're opening up your chest cavity therefore you want to open up your lungs so right after the double lotus kick you want to inhale So I'll face this way one more time.
So again, the footwork, you're in like a front stance, and the weight would be about 70% in the front and 30% on the back. And inhale when you're opening up your hands. And again, you want the eyes of your fist to line up. There you have it, friends. Shoot tiger. And until next time, have a great day, friends.